The Marlins have lost their first five games of a season for the first time in franchise history. It's going to be the second start for Jesus Luzardo. We last saw him on opening day. As Rendon sends the 0-1 offering into shallow right. Arise is out. Garcia is in. Two pitches, one out, and that is very effective. A 2-2. That time the slider. It's a good pitch for him. His first strike out of the ball game, two away. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch to Trout, and that is swung on and hit in the air. To right field, shallow. Garcia racing in. Underneath it makes the catch. He has a couple of putouts out there and right in a perfect top of the first inning for Jesus Lozardo. Southpaw Tyler Anderson toes the rubber for the Los Angeles Angels here tonight. Swing and a miss. The rare strikeout for Luis Arise, and it comes from a guy who doesn't strike out many in Tyler Anderson. As Josh Bell goes after the first pitch and lifts a fly ball off the end of his bat, Mike Trout is in, and there's two down. Four pitches and two outs. Berger with soft contact bounces to Rendon at third. Tyler Anderson strikes out the nearly impossible rise in a 1 2 3 inning. The 2 2 pitch, changeup swing and a miss. It's a devastating changeup from Jesus Lazardo for the first out here in the second inning. Here's Brandon Drury. 2 2 pitch is dribbled towards third. Fair ball over the bag. Bride has it. Long throw to first in time. Nice play, Jonah Bride, who had to navigate the bag at third and throw that ball on the money to Jake Berger. It looked like it was going to be a foul ball, and that's why you finish the play if you're the third baseman. The 2-2 pitch, fastball. Well, I suppose that just missed a little high. Oof. Where was it? Apparently not good enough, Stu. according to Stu Sherwater. Stu, where was that? He's four steps into the dugout. Get the strikeout either way, because it's a pitch clock violation to get the strikeout. I mean, baseball in 2024. Tim Anderson, a very good fastball hitter. 304 average against lefties. Here's a ground ball base hit for Tim Anderson. Jazz will stop around second base. A walk and a hit and a couple of one out base runners for the Marlins here in the second. And there go the runners. Avi goes after the first one in the air out toward right center. Base runners have to scurry back as Trout puts it away. Oh, they're saying he went around third base and never retouched. My goodness, a double play has ended the inning. Chisholm went to third, never retouched on his way back to second. The Angels appealed. It's a double play, and the inning is over. That is sloppy baseball. That could have been a big inning for the Fish. Nolan Shawnawell is the batter now for the Angels. Trying to keep that on base streak going as he has through the first four games this year and all 29 that he played last year. There it is. Uh, there it is indeed. Ball four. So 34 in a row. He has tied Lee Thomas for the seventh longest on base streak in Angels history. There's a ground ball hit left side. Berger's got it. Check that bride to second to a rise for one and a throw to Berger at first is true and on time. That's an around the horn 5-4-3 double play to erase the leadoff walk. Here comes the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Got him with a slider and the inning is over. A walk, a double play, and a strikeout. Nine up, nine down. Lazardo has faced the minimum. It'll be Bride, Fortes, and a rise. So 8-9 and top of the batting order. Strike three called to Jonah Bride, and Tyler Anderson has his second strikeout. This is the number nine batter, Nick Fortes. As Fortes bangs a ball on a line towards the gap in right center field. That's going to get down and roll to the wall for extra bases. A one-out stand-up double for Nick Fortes. And again, the Marlins are back in business. Runner in scoring position for the Marlins. Last night, three for 16 with runners in scoring position. And the pitch to arise is grounded to the right side. Flagging it down to his right is Sean Owell. And he flips it to the bag where Anderson is covering. And there's two away. Bell with a ground ball to the shortstop. Neto has it, collects himself, fires the first in time. And with plenty of time to retire Bell. So the Marlins cannot do anything with the one out double here in the third. Well, he's typically struggled third time through the order. As Aaron Hicks puts a charge into this toward the right field corner. It's deep, and that's a fair ball and a home run. Aaron Hicks slugs one the other way, keeps it fair in the right field corner, and has his first home run as an angel. It was a sinker that stayed upstairs, and he stayed with the swing. Talk about that top of the order, got to get it going, and Aaron Hicks does so. Two outs, and uh, Nolan Shonowell now at 34 straight games, reaching base safely to start his career. Shonowell's on base again, ball four. And there's a drive toward the left field corner. This one is deep as it bounces off the wall. Shonowell gets to third. Let's see if there's a green light. There is. Anderson's got it. Here comes the relay throw home. Got him at the plate. Outstanding job. De La Cruz.
Cortez to Anderson to Fortes to cut down a run. That was played perfectly all around by the Marlins. We'll see if that injects a little life into them at the plate. The Angels trying to win their third in a row, leading 1 0 as Zach Neto starts the sixth against Jesus Lazarda. Here is Neto driving one to the gap in left center field, or rather in left field corner, and that's a fair ball down the line for Neto, taking that one into the corner. So that's a double. Now the Angels with a good start here in the sixth inning as the Neto cheering section roars for Zach. Slider. A flat on Lazardo there, and he able to keep that one fair. One hops the wall, get in a scoring position for the right guy up here in this spot now with Rendon. Don't hit that one hard. What wow. a catch! <laughs> what a play! That was a rocket. Whoa. Sign him up. Some extension. <laughs> Take a bow, young man. Done by Anthony Rendon. will get a high five, but he gets back in that dugout. Aaron. Hicks will be the next batter with a runner at third, one away. Right through the middle and a base hit for Aaron Hicks. What a game, Aaron Hicks. Zach Neto scores. Hicks is driven in both runs, and the Angels lead 2 0. Had a sinker again. He homered on a sinker. This sinker is elevated again, right back up the middle. This is a great swing. Two RBIs in the game, the only two runs of the game. And that's going to be the end of the road for Jesus Lazardo tonight, who does not make it through six innings of work. He will depart this ball game with the Marlins trailing 2 to nothing. Brian Hoeing in to face Mike Trout. His trap goes the other way and has a base hit. Yeah, he said, you know what, last time I hit Hicks the ball Hicks on his hard. way to third. The ball was dropped by Garcia in right field. And Aaron Hicks advances first to third on Trout single. Something the Angels have done a lot already. Something didn't do a whole lot of that last year, taking that extra base going first to third. And him breaking for second and getting there without a throw will be Mike Trout. So that's an easy stolen base for Trout. That's his first one of the season. He had only two a year ago. There's a base hit for Taylor Ward. It scores Hicks. Trout's right behind him on the way home. Now he'll go back to third as De La Cruz gets it in quickly, but an RBI for Taylor Ward, and the Angels have a 3-0 lead. Bell's had an 0-for-2 ball game. He was 1-for-4 last night. Bell with a ground ball. Neto sliding stop. Gets up, heaves it to first. In wow. time to get Josh Bell. That's a highlight play. That's in the outfield and turns around and fires it to first base. What a play by Zach Neto, who doubled last half inning, scored a run. Makes a great play. Tyler Anderson loves that play right there. Brings up Zach Neto. A few moments ago, a great, great play at shortstop to take a hit away from Josh Bell. Line to first. It's caught by Jake Berger. And the Marlins double off Ohapi. That ball was stung. Berger, right place, right time. Anderson at second. Avi Garcia is at first. Tying run is at the plate. Anderson trying to get through seven. Swing and a miss, strike three. There's that finish. A beautiful job by Tyler Anderson in his first start of the year. Seven scoreless. Good game for Aaron Hicks as well tonight. He's got a couple of runs batted in and two runs scored. One two pitch ground ball. It's off the glove of Berger. Arise has it. Throws it wide of Hoeing at first, but they still got him. That deflected off of Jake Berger. Caromed right to Luis Arise. And the long and rangy Brian Hoeing did a very nice job at first base. Cal, that was just a good play all around. Need a ninth inning rally against Luis Garcia and the Angels. Luis Garcia, who has saved 11 games in the big leagues, he has not saved the game since he was with the Padres in 2022. And De La Cruz, high drive, center field, back goes Trout, and the Marlins are on the board. Solo home run for Brian De La Cruz. 102.7 miles an hour off of his bat, and all Mike Trout could do was just go back to the wall and look up. Jesus Sanchez is going to bat for Abby Garcia. The Marlins are down to their final strike in this ball game. Swing and a miss, strike three. Say good night to the Marlins. The Angels have their third straight win and a series victory in Miami. Marlins drop another one. No wins in six losses.